So Paul, that's the Jupiter family comets, but what about the Halley family comets? Now, these are the rarest type. I mean, okay. there are 10 Jupiter family for every Halley type comet. All right. And they're t both totally outnumbered by the long period comets. Okay. Which are, <laughs> but here's Halley's comet. Um, I have never seen it. Uh, last time it went past, I was an undergraduate at Cambridge and it was, didn't get very far in the Northern Hemisphere. I yeah. lugged a telescope out <laughs> to the backs and tried to see it through the thick fog, but it was a bit of a futile effort. Uh, but it was had much better view from Australia, I believe. Yep. I didn't live here then. No. This is what the middle of it looks like, as we showed earlier. It's a very dark lump. That's right. About 16 kilometers. So big. bigger than the uh, 67P that we were looking at last yeah. time. But not but typically the nuclear comets are a few kilom uh, kilometers big. Okay. I mean, actually, if you took Pluto into the solar system, it would be a comet. <laughs> Yeah, okay, all right. In Just this case, probably its gravity would be so much the tail could never actually blow away, it would be trapped. Fair enough. But you, so you can kind of think Pluto's atmosphere is like a comet tail, only trapped at some okay. level. But if you get, it's got to be small enough for the atmosphere to escape. Yeah. Um, but I mean, yeah, something like Pluto, if it did escape, that would be a brilliant... It'd be, look, it'd be an interesting, very interesting comet. <laughs> yes. Um, now, the difference is in the orbit. So this okay. is the orbit of Halley's Comet. And so now we've got Jupiter as that pale brown yeah, and, and then mars and earth mars in earth and, and venus so this so before this the the jupiter family comets were around starting at jupiter this is much much yeah, further so before it was just going out to here yeah but now it's looking like this and so we zoom in and see what it does when it gets close and so it's this very brief moment when it goes through there that we see it yep and with big telescopes you can track it quite a way in and quite a way out yep and so there's nearly a hundred of these things known and the difference is they ins instead of being going the same sense around as and the same sort of inclination as Kuiper, these things come from every direction they're just oh. as likely to go backwards as forwards okay so they can so, so instead of kind of coming from a set way they come from all over different yeah. inclinations and which makes it very hard to explain them as coming from the Kuiper belt yeah okay um, so we think actually there's a long period comets that have been trapped so that's still a bit unclear okay um, but that's where these things come from, and they're, um, they're most famous simply because it's Halley's Comet, and that um, comes back so regularly, yep. um, and once again they've been blown to pieces. So they would still go through the same ultimate fate as the Jupiter family comets, but because they're further away they last longer? Yeah, so basically they're going to lose a certain direction of the time every time they go past the middle, but because they go past the middle less frequently they'll last a bit longer. Okay.